Hello everybody, this is your Spyful Spartan here, and welcome back to Undertale! In today's episode, we uh, are going to be going on and going to the main core. In the last episode, we did a lot of just puzzles just to get us to here. Uh, we faced some really unique villain. And uh, we're here, so uh, we're going to continue on, and here we go. I, I'm so happy, Nice Cream is really changing the world. Oh, that's cool. Oh, hey, we're like talking a rain check on the whole killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? He seems happy. <laughs> That's all he's got to say. It's just he seems happy. There's no music. What's going on? Hey. Go up to the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Do I want to? I'm going to go to the left first just to see if there's anything here. No. Okay. Oh, it's the MTT. Okay. What's up this way? What the living hell? Hey, check it out! Yeah, check it out! Okay. Alright, we can get junk food, an empty gun, a cowboy hat, and a mysterious key. Okay. All right. Uh, can we sell anything? Thanks, but we don't really need anything. Oh my God! Can you tell us? Can you get us some glam burgers? We don't really need anything. Wait! I'll pay one thousand gold if me if you get Metaton to autograph my butt. Okay. Uh. I'm Brandy, I'm Kathy, and this is my best friend Brandy, and this is my best friend Kathy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, like, what's up? The stuff inside is, like, totally wicked expensive. But, like, this stuff we found is, like, totally wicked cheap. $600. 600 gold. That's cheap? That is cheap? How expensive is the shit inside? Like, see you later and stuff. Okay, and we're back. I am completely sorry about that. My game ended up crashing on me when I tried to exit out of that building. It literally, the music just kept playing. The screen was completely black. I tried moving. It wouldn't let me do anything. So we're back, and we're going to talk to Sans. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? You know what? Sure. Great. Thanks for treat. I'm not treating you. Over here. I know a shortcut. You always know all the shortcuts, Sans. Where the fuck are we? Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? It is? Okay. You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, Butto. Butto? Though, maybe sometimes it's better it to take what's given to you. Down here... You've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do. Really worth it? Is Sans gonna get deep with us? Seriously? Uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey. Let me tell you a story. Oh, great. Backstory time. Here we go. Everybody grab a popcorn. So, I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? 
I sit out there, watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's a huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So, one day I'm knocking them, knocking them out as usual. I knock on the door and say, knock knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So, naturally I respond, dishes. Dishes who? Dishes is a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she ever heard in a hundred years. So I keep on coming and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman is extremely good. We keep telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It's rules... Uh, one day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise me something? Watch over them and protect them. Will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has it has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her, you know what would have happened if I hadn't if she hadn't said anything? Buddy? You'd be dead where you stand. Wait, are we gonna fight Sans now? Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? No! I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a Bullshit! Hey, what's that supposed that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Yes! Yes, you're wrong! Huh. <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Cause someone really cares about you. You know, I think it's Toriel. And that big locked door is the door that we escaped from. Alright, let's just keep walking. Let's walk around here for a little bit. See if there's anything we can find. Oop. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off of this ficus. That's disgusting. It's a platoon of ficuses. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things with winding and confusing, it's somewhat an off it's some awful tradition. You can't go uh, two feet without being up to your armpits in puzzles. Oh, hey, it's a snow drake! I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of uh, swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, 
was fun today. I love a pu I sure love puzzle. Okay. I'm the resort comedian. I am very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha 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 ha. That's an awful thing to say about your son. That's not funny. Since he's... Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. Haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. Ha 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 ha. That's not funny. No, it isn't. What the hell? Blub blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve a chair, your silverware, your food, your... Okay. What the shit? I think they have a broken, uh... Okay. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night, still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice. MTT prides itself on being passed through. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel, it fills you with DETERMINATION! Alright, so we made it to the hotel lobby. Awesome. Oh, I didn't want to save again. <clears throat> Return. Okay, there we go. There's a lot of people everywhere. Who do I talk to first? Holy shit. This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. Yeah. I'm not going to be home tonight. Oh. Uh, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. It's a dragon. That's awesome. As a slime, I'm outraged. Okay. Yes, we know. The elevator to the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200 gold a room. Interested? No. Do not let us. Oh, do let us know if you change your mind. Have a spark, uh, spark killer day. Okay, so there's core. There's the MTT eatery. What is this way? Are these rooms? Oh, room service. Got my CT. Yeah. No, you don't. It's locked from the inside. Oh, room service. Got my cinnamon bun? No. You hear shuffling. Seems like he could put something under the door. But he didn't have anything appealing. He seems busy. Okay. So we need sweet tea and we need a cinnamon bun. Let's see if we can go get that at this, at the uh, MTT shop. Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium, home to the Glam Burger. Sp uh, sparkle up your day, TM. Okay, a Star Parfait, 60 gold, a Glam Burger is one is 120 a legendary hero is 300 and a stake in the shape of metaton's face um okay that's pretty expensive not gonna lie what the hell was up with that face all right to the core is there anything over here? No? Okay. Here we go. 
What the hell? Ring. Uh. Who are they? N nobody else is s supposed to be here. Oh well. We can't worry about that now. Click. I think it's those two workers that we met on the last episode. You know, the ones with the, like, weird pyramid-like faces? Or trapezoidal faces? Ring! Ready? This is it. Take the elevator to the top of the core. What if I don't want to? Ring! Hey! Why don't you try the elevator first? W watch out! Mad Jack pops out of its hat. Let's clear our mind. You ignore magic and think of pollen and sunshine. Your defense is increased by one. Abra! Kadabra! Magic does the mysterious jig. Let's clear our mind again. Alright, so tinkle tinkle hoy. Magic whispers arcane swear words. Let's keep clearing our mind to increase our defense. Alright. Let's stare at him. Chaser orb or current orb? Ooh. Yep. Oh, that one. Focus, poke. Whoa. Magic peers at you with strange eyes. Can we talk to him? Nope. Okay, we can spare him now. Alright. 60 gold. Awesome. Th th that was close. Why are there so many monsters here? I mean, it's no problem, right? We, we've we just got to keep heading forward. Click. I'm going to go back and check the elevator. The elevator isn't working. What? What? The elevator should be working. Well, let go to the right and keep heading up. Okay. Ring. Where the... Where this pit come from? You should be able to walk across here. Okay, so we did have to go to the left. I literally picked it just by random. Okay. Ring. Looks like you can't proceed until you hit the switch. But those lasers will activate when you do. Um... Looks like they'll come in this order. Orange, orange, blue. Got it? Move until the third one. Ring. Oh my god. Are you okay? I, I, I'm sorry. I gave you the wrong order. Everything's fine, okay? Uh, let's just keep heading to the right. Ring. A cr crossroads, huh? Uh. Try heading to the right. I don't trust. I'm gonna head up. Fuck. Night night blocks the way. Oh, fuck. We shall sing! I sing an old lullaby. Night night starts to look sleepy. Farewell. What the freaking holy hell? 
Sing. All right, we are we are gonna put this freaking giant to sleep. Night night smashes her morning star. Wait, that's a girl. Let's keep singing. Also, I felt I made it fall. I made her fall asleep. Spare. Woo! Seventy gold. There we go. Ring. Uh, are you okay? Why didn't you head to the right? C come on, you trust me, don't you? Maybe. Ring. M more lasers. Uh, okay, I won't mess up around this time. I'll just deactivate the lasers and let you through. There. They're, they're not turning off. I can't turn them off. It, it's okay. I have this under control. I'm going to turn off the power to the whole node. Then you can walk across. Okay, go. What the literal shit. Wait, stop. The power is turning itself back on. Damn it! This this isn't supposed to happen. I I'm gonna turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little and then stop. Okay? You won't get hurt. Her. Click. Last time. There we go. See, I've got everything under control. Everything's under control. Ring. Okay. Y you should. You, you should. I don't know. This doesn't look like my map at all. I'm sorry. I, I, I have to go. The air is filled with the smell of ozone. It fills you with determination! Alright, found the core branch. Alright, and this one we're going to leave this episode. I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed this today's episode of Undertale. If you did, smack that like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe down below. And until next time, this has been your Spiteful Spartan, signing out. Stay frosty, everybody.